Hello everybody, it's DK. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to say for the 26 people who watched the other review I did of my Chao Gu, I'm going to say thank you for bearing with me because when I did that video, I was very nervous. Um, I was talking very fast and I was trying to um, get to the point of the video, which is when I was personally reviewing and watching videos of other YouTube people out there. Hi, my fellow YouTubers. Um, knitters, too. Um, when they were doing the review, they didn't show the tip of the knitting needle. And that was very frustrating because that's what I wanted to see. So when I did my other video, I just wanted to get to that as fast as possible. So I just reviewed it. And I thought, even though it got 26 or maybe 25, because I know I watched it personally myself a couple of times, um, I was like, I'm going to sacrifice that and redo my child Guru review and do it in a way that I'm not nervous now. I've done a few videos. Hopefully you'll go and look at my other videos um, and give me a shot um, <laughs> to help you on your knitting journey. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to slow it down and I'm still going to share with you what I would have wanted to see in a child Guru review before I actually bought my needles, the needle set that I bought. I bought the five tip lace, red lace child Guru needles. They're stainless steel. They come with the, you know, it's their classic you know, black and white with the red. They do make a bamboo set. Um, I wish I could get that. Maybe someday in the future I'll be able to be able to get that. Um, that that I think is the same black and white, but it has a green ribbon on it. So this is the case. There's a zipper in the front that holds all the knitting notions it comes with. Um, I am currently using some of my knitting, knitting tips. Um, in some projects, but I'll show you what I have. So these are the end caps for when you need to take your knitting needle tips off. And you can put these on so your knit, your stitches don't fall off the cables. And like say you're doing a sweater or you're doing something that you need to know how to fit and the, the tips get in the way. So that's what you would use those for. And then there's two, sorry, black in the thing two cable connectors in here one for the small cables and one for the larger cables and two t-pins this is like i'm using all my small tips right now so you get three small cables and then you get three large cables different lengths and you get stitch markers and then you get a needle guide size guide and then a little ruler so you can do you can gate, you can like measure your swatch or whatever you else you want to use this for. Okay, so this is actually important to have. I've used this in the last couple of weeks or whatever. It's a nice thing to have on your in your knitting arsenal. Okay, so that's the front pouch, and of course you can put other things in here. I have a darning needle in here, um, just in case if you're traveling or whatever. You know you have you know. All the things that you would possibly need um, with you so now let's get to the needles okay so it actually comes with a nice variety of sizes it comes it goes from a us 2 to a us 15 i think it is yes so i'm going to show you the whole set hopefully you can see Um, so it's like, okay, let's count the needle tips. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different size needle tips, which I think is amazing. Um, so the reason I did the first review is I wanted to see how sharp the tips were. So that's what I'm going to show you. 
So hopefully you can see, um, it probably would be better with a piece of card. Uh, let me see. <laughs> right. When you want something, it's never where you want it, right? Okay. Just bear with me a second, guys. Probably going to edit this out anyway. So, anyway. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you can really see how sharp and pointy those needle tips are. So that's what I really wanted to see when I was looking at other videos before I bought, bought my chow goose. I love my chow goose. They're wonderful. They're stainless steel. The, um, the smaller ones are solid stainless steel. And then the bigger ones, they're hollowed out. Um, and these are the size 15s. So let me... Sorry, I was out of frame of the camera. So I don't know if you can, if you can tell how sharp those are. So like I said in my other video, it doesn't matter like what kind of stitch you're using. Um, it can really get in there and, and get the work done. Okay, so like I showed you in my last video, I'm going to do it now. Um... I was so nervous doing that video. I don't know if you guys could really tell, but I was really, really nervous. So I just rewatched it and I was like, I'm going to redo it. So that's what I'm doing. So for this, the connector, um, to make, like, if you're doing like a really long, you know, sh I was going to try to say a word, but it's not coming out. Um, shawl or a blanket or anything that's gonna require you to have you know some um, a lot of space for your knitting for your stitches right you know this is handy th these are handy these are handy things to have sorry um, so Da, da, da. Bear with me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I really wasn't planning on doing this video, but I just thought, I'd be like, you know what? This needs to be redone. All right. Okay, so where's the large one? Okay. So even though it is a large connector, I hope you can, it's still small. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is you want to, you know, connect it to the to one cable. And you will, I did that by hand, but you are going to want to use your T-pins. I say, so what you want to do is you want to put one T-pin in one hole, in one hole. And then you want to take the other T-pin, the, in the other one. And then you want to push them apart, like one towards you and one away from you. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. So you want to do that, you know, pushing away and pushing towards you because you really want to make that connection and that joint really strong. Like nothing's going to... Um, make that come apart and so you want to do that also for the other cable I'll just do that really quickly if I could find okay just do that and then you want to do the same thing with the second cable so all right of course it doesn't want to work so I'll grab my T pin Put the T-pin in, and then let the T-pin help you, okay? 
I don't know why it feels clumsy today. I don't know why. But okay. All right. Okay, now it's now it's now it's now it's working. So Oh, la, la. Sorry for the cable slap, you know, knocking against the table. All right, so once you get that threaded on, you want to do the same thing. But what I'm doing is, like, with the this pin, I'm having it towards me, and then this pin in my right hand, I'm forcing that away from me. So you want to do that, all right? So that joint, when you are knitting, is not going to come undone and spoil your work, all right? So that's what I wanted to re-show you on the with the with this cable. Okay. So I hope this uh, is a better video, a better review of the chow goo. Like I said, I love my chow goos. I think they're top tier. Um, the quality of the manufacturing is great. I mean, I wish I could afford to buy more. I would, because um, like all knitters know, you need more than one set of needles. Especially if you do more than one project at a time. Um, and you need, you know, the same size knitting needles on a different project. But we do what we do. And, you know, we do it, we deal with what we got. I mean, I'm blessed and happy that I even have this set in my life. So, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. And, and just calm down and take my time and do the review properly. Um, and so, you know, they really want you to be successful with their product. So that's why they give you what you do. And I think the cost analyst, if you actually broke it down piece by piece and you divided that into the cost, I'm not going to say how much mine costs because the price, because I bought mine on Amazon, the price fuck fluctuates. So you're going to like, if you are interested in getting child goose, make sure you just keep an eye on the price. And try to get it as cheaply as you can when um, you see it at a cheaper price. Because they are really worth it. Um, but we all like to get a deal. So um, that's going to be it for this review on the Chow Goose. I hope that was this is a better video than the last one. So thanks for watching my other review of Chow Goo. I'm going to wrap it up now guys. Alright, talk to you later. Peace out.